Hey guys, welcome back to what is now week 10 of the Multi-Battle League. This is the second to last week of the regular season. I'm joined by my trusty partner, Baz. Hello there. And we are up against Team Wee Disney, which consists of Shofu and Duncan Knee Deep. We actually had a disconnection on the first turn, or not a disconnection, uh, Duncan only brought one Pokemon the first <laughs> time around. So we're just going with the same Pokemon, the same leads. Uh, Baz and I had planned for uh, Raichu Aerodactyl, so we're going to be going with that. And, yep, we're going to get into it. Uh, just a refresher, you can go check out the Team Builder on Baz's channel, linked in the description below. Uh, team Wee Disney, I think, is currently 6th or 7th in the league, and they're hunting for a playoff spot, so they really need to win these last two weeks. Uh, Baz and I are first in the league, so we've secured a spot in the top 6 already, but we probably need to win the next two weeks still if we want a bye for the playoffs. And so this, this matchup is still really important. Uh, so we're going to get into it. If you do enjoy the MDL in this video, share your support by leaving a like in the video. Uh, they do choose to go with the Tortoise and the Frost Lab, so Baz and I were really thinking maybe they'd go Bulu and Halucha, but instead they go with something that's pretty different here. Um, we still do go with our Raichu Aerodactyl uh, that we planned with. Yeah, um, the microphones are being a little bit funny again, so I'm just going to take as much time as we can with this turn just to hopefully get the microphone sorted out again. Yes. But, um, um, so I, I didn't hear what you were just saying there, but uh, we were just talking before this battle saying how Holucha was a massive threat to us because with this unburden it, it does a massive, a massive threat. Um, uh, deal against our team, and for him to not bring it in the team preview makes us very, very happy. Yes. Aha, I think the planets have aligned. I think I can hear you again now. Nice, okay. So, with this lead, our plan was to actually just fake out Tornadus and Rock Slide, just because uh, our Aerodactyl can survive an Ice Beam from Frostlass if it's Scarf. If it's not Scarf, then, and it's a Z-Move, for example, we have an 87.5% chance of knocking them out, uh, around if they don't have any bulk, um, and... If they're Sash, then they also won't be able to knock this out, and Rock Slide could potentially knock out Tornadus. And so, Aerodactyl is really good offensively against their team right now, so I think uh, Baz is just going to fake out Tornadus, I'm just going to uh, Mega Evolve and Rock Slide. Yeah, I think the worst case scenario here is if they are Scarfed and actually Freezers, because that yes. would be terrible. Yeah, just a Freezer or a Crit. puts in so much against their team. Yeah. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and Rock Slide. Yep. Okay, I went for it. Alright, they stay in with Woke. Yeah, no switches. Let's see. This, this, like, honestly could be a game deciding turn right here, depending on what happens. Yeah, if our rock slides hit. No protect either. Okay. Okay, so... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> and it is Charty Berry on the, um... <laughs> on the Tornadoes too. Are you serious? Okay, but at least they're not Scarf. Yes. And they actually Icy Wind. Ooh. Ah. That's a little bit of an issue, actually. Yes. Yeah, that, that Rock Slide miss is really annoying because we could have potentially finished them. Um, you know, we would have probably brought it down to its Sash. Yep. Um, that's really bad now. Okay, so they have Charty on Tornadus. And uh, Frost as Icy Wind. So uh, I'm thinking I want to switch into Azumarill here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And Raichu maybe goes for an Electro Web? Ooh, I like that! Yeah, because then we, we neutralize um, the speeds. Um, I mean, it could just go for a Thunderbolt into the Tornadoes too, but um, they have got the potential Lantern switch there. Um, and bringing in, because we have got Trick Room on our Jirachi, um, it is a bit threatened by the uh, Frostlast 2, just because they could have uh, like the Zed Ghost move. What about Electric Z moving the. Frostlass. Um, we could do. I think it's probably Sashed if they had Icy Wind. Yeah. And the problem is we don't have Protect on Aerodactyl, because that would have been quite nice. Now. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. switching out into Azumarill, I think. Yeah. Because we know there's no Z-move on Tornadus, at least. Um, it's probably Acrobatics. But the question is what you want to do with Raichu. I'm switching out into Azumarill, though. Yeah. It's either either a set move or an Electro Web, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, if um, we, I Electro Web, the next turn you could protect um, Neither Queen and I Electro Web again, but then I suppose I can just Tailwind. So, what do you think I do here? I like Electro Webbing more though. I like it probably knocks out Tornadus. Actually, I don't know about that, does it? I don't think it will, oh, but okay. it, it'll, it'll be close. Yeah, that's uh, definitely an unfortunate miss, but oh well. Okay, so they do Tailwind. Yep. So they've got all the speed control here. <laughs> yep. And they do Ice Beam, probably into the Azumarill, yeah. No freeze, please. 
Okay. Nice. Okay. So we've broken potential sashes at least. Yeah. Okay, and this is also good actually. Let Tornadus doesn't go down because it denies them a free switch in. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Um, worst case, I suppose they could have Zed Grass Knot, and with this chip damage, Azumarill uh, probably will go down to it. Yeah. I mean, it's safer for me to protect, I suppose, but I kind of like still Aqua Jetting the Tornado slot, and maybe you just see moving the... Oh yeah, I suppose, yeah, Aqua Jet should knock it out. Yeah. Yeah. Overthinking a bit there. <laughs> I'm gonna Aqua Jet Tornadoes. Tornadoes also can't have a Z move because that's the Charty Berry. Yeah. So Aqua Jet, yeah, does a minimum 30% to Tornadoes, so that does definitely knock it out. And do you think I should um, Z Thunderbolt the Frost Blast then? Yes. I don't think a uh, just a normal Thunderbolt would knock it out from here. Yeah, the only downside is that they switch into Landorus. So, I mean, I guess you could HP Ice if you predict the switch in, but I think I'm we're. Like, Z-Electric is probably the safer call, but your call. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, and Landers doesn't really want to sit in front of Azumarill for too long either. Exactly. I'm gonna Aqua Jet the Tornadoes, though. Yeah. Let's see if they actually switch out. The goal here is really, um, if we knock out Tornadoes, they won't be able to set up Tailwind again, and then so our Aerodactyl will be able to go from there, which is why yes. Gaz and I really wanted to conserve it. Yeah, Lantern really is the only thing on that side that I guess can take our hits. Yeah, uh, but we've got Neo Queen and Breelin for it. Yeah, they didn't protect turn 1 2 on a pretty obvious fake out, so maybe he doesn't have protect. Okay, they stay in with both, nice. Yeah, okay. So getting rid of Tornadoes is a big deal because now they can't tail him anymore. Yes. Oh! Yeah, okay. Interesting. That's well, cool. okay, so they're losing both their Pokemon. We're losing. Um, one of our Pokemon, but now maybe we can try and trick through. Yep. I suppose Magmortar is the only thing that can actually um, stop Jirachi from doing that. Or maybe if they have got Zed Earth Power on Landorus. Or Zed Earthquake on Gyarados. Right. But the question, like, we also have the follow me option on Jirachi, so I don't think they can one shot Jirachi. Haha, <laughs> 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 Nice, okay. And that's two turns of Tailwind, so there's only one left, right? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, we Electro-Webbed, we uh, Aqua Jetted, and this is the last turn of Trick Room, uh, okay. Tailwind. So, do I put Jirachi in here, then? So you have Jirachi or... And, and Brillium. I think Jirachi, definitely. Yeah. So, worst case scenario, they bring in Magmortar and Landorus, I suppose? Yeah. But... Then, well, hmm, then, they haven't used, have they? No, they've not used any Z moves yet, have they? Yeah, if I had to guess, Landers is going to have a Z move here. Yes, and uh, Magmorta could too. Um, a Z Thunderbolt from Magmorta, as unlikely as it might sound, does one-shot um, Azumarill too. Right. But, nicely enough, we have still got our Aerodactyl, which does put in a lot of work on their team still. Yep. So let's put Jirachi in then. Yeah, I think it's probably the better call just because we have follow me pressure. Like, so oh, it's Coco. Coco. And that's probably Landorus. Yeah. Hmm. So now do we want to try and trick room? Because Aerodactyl won't appreciate that in the back. Um, yeah, so I, what I fear right now is a discharge earth power. Hmm, yes. Yeah. That could very possibly happen. Well, Azumarill, I think Azumarill, if it's modest, a Discharge might knock out Azumarill. If it's timid, then it should survive. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, this is awkward now. Hmm. Like, um, uh, yeah, this is actually quite annoying. I'm really not quite sure on this one. Yeah, because they could potentially just knock both of these Pokemon out here. Yeah, so I'm thinking... Does Aqua Jet plus Rock Slide knock out the Tapu Koko? I wouldn't have thought so. 
Um, I'm doing this calculation then. Um, you get thinking what we might want to be doing. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, I think I'm inclined to Aqua Jet here, or maybe just Protect, and maybe you Icy win. Yeah. But if they do have Discharge, then that's really bad. Yes. And we could just be losing both of our Pokemon here. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, that's sort of what I'm leaning towards doing as well. Okay. Um, so Aqua Jet to Coco does 30%. Uh, we have 10 seconds. Uh, am I see wind in then? Yeah. I don't know whether to Aqua Jet or Protect. I'm Ooh. gonna Protect. Okay. This is so obvious though. So, ooh, is Wait, that they're Scar? faster? Yeah, that's Scar. Oh, they are in Tailwind, don't they? Oh, it's faster than the thingy. Oh, Okay, wait. well that does work for us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. They are, yeah, they're Scar, the, the they're Scar. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. That is good, yeah. And Tailwind ends here now, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Wait, what? No, it... <laughs> no, they've got one more turn of Tailwind, actually. Oh, wow. So maybe, I mean that's a physical Coco. That's interesting. So yes. there's no discharge there. That's that's good at least. Um, so maybe follow me, Aqua Jet the Landorus then. Does Aqua Jet knock out Landorus? I will have a look, but I would think so. Yeah, I would think so too. Uh, Landorus, Aqua Jet does minimum with no bulk, forty-five percent. Um, so maybe not actually. I mean, I could switch into Needle Queen. Yeah, you could. But then... I think I like Aqua Jetting here more. Yeah, so do I. I'm gonna Aqua Jet, I think you should follow me. Follow me? Ooh, um... Actually, yeah, I should Aqua Jet, yeah. Uh, what what, what else gonna... would you... You could, uh... What are you thinking of here? Well, they will... Just Earth Power into the Jirachi and knock it out. Um, right, but Aqua Jet will knock out the... Oh yeah, as long as the Aqua Jet, you know, hopefully the Aqua Jet does knock it out. So I guess that, I mean, this this works. Follow me, Aqua Jet, as long as this Aqua Jet knocks out the Landorus. Yes, I'm gonna Aqua Jet And if Jet, it though. doesn't, if it doesn't, then um, Aerodactyl will come in next turn, but a Mac Punch Rock Slide might not knock out the, land, the Coco from here. But I think it makes sense for us just to follow me, yeah. Aqua Jet here. Okay, okay, so that's not too bad for us then. This might be um, Gyarados, maybe? Yeah, it is. Okay. okay. But now I'm going to be down to my last Pokemon here. Yeah, that's scary. At least it is Braven with Sash, though. Yes. I wonder why they went physical. Yeah, that's interesting. And now they're probably going to start dragon dancing up. Yeah. I would imagine. Mm, I wonder okay. how much. So does Breloom out speed both of these? Um, Breloom, I don't think will outspeed Coco, no. But it. Uh, no, and it won't outspeed Garyos as well, either. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, this is scary now. That was a pretty obvious switch, but a good switch on their end last turn. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really hmm. wish I could switch to an Aerodactyl. Okay, um... I mean, the thing is, they'd have to double up into Breloom to knock it out. Switching a Zoomerod yeah. is so risky, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, they're probably just gonna... Um, Dragon Dance and Wild Charge into the Azumarill, I would imagine. That'd be ideal then, because I could just spore the Gyarados, or you could spore Gyarados and I just sack Azumarill. But, yeah, they can just double into the Breloom. Right. Like, the question is whether they actually make that call or not. Yeah. Okay, so let's say just they double up into Breloom. What if I Belly Drum? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but... Then... It would just be your side against theirs entirely. Right. But I think my like Azumarill just kind of wins, doesn't it? Um. Maybe. Like Gyarados, I would think has the Z move here. 
Do you think maybe I protect a new belly drum here? The because only then, downside if... there is if they wild charge the Azumarill and Dragon Dance. Yeah, that is that is the thing. That would be yeah. quite the call. But I think I think protecting my Bloom is very obvious though. Yes. And maybe a wild charge and I suppose if they've got Ice, ice Bang, then they'll knock it out, but maybe Wild Charge and um, Waterfall won't knock the Wheeler out? It could be like Z flying on Gyarados as well. Yeah, true. It's kind of funny, our Jirachi ended up being too bulky, like it took that Earth Power too well. Yeah. <laughs> that it didn't proc our berry. Yeah, Wild Charge to Brilliant does only about half. So maybe... Um, I try and spoil the Gyarados a new Belly Drum then? I like that, okay. Okay. That covers all our I mean, options, I think. Yeah, um... But it's just scary, because then it could be 1v2. Yeah, and it would just all be down to your side. Yeah, I'm gonna Belly Drum, I think. Okay. I mean, they could have Lumberry on Gyarados? Yes. Um, What's I was thinking maybe... What's the speed of Breloom against Gyarados? Pardon? What's this, our Breloom speed against their Gyaradoses? Um, well, if they are jolly, then they outspeed Brulem because it's naturally faster, and we're adamant today. I was oh. thinking maybe bullet seeding into the Coco, but um, if they do start dragon dancing with that Gyarados, that could be a problem. I for think us. you need a spore Gyarados, to be honest. Yeah. We can't let it get a free dragon dance off. Okay. Oh! What? That's so good! That's Magmortar, okay. Oh, and we're actually faster. <laughs> I think that just won us the game. Potentially? I don't know, like... Yeah. No Lumberry. Let's go! No okay, we haven't won yet, but that's literally the best thing that could have happened to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious why they didn't go Jolly on their uh, the Gyarados, but... Maybe it must have Dragon Dance, and they must be trying to boost its speed. Worst case scenario here is actually... Um, well, they could have Pasho Berry on the... Uh, Magmortar, but we could get a Flame Body Burn, too. Yeah, but even with the burn, I think we still... I mean, there's not much we can really do, right? We can definitely Aqua Jet. Yeah, yeah. The only so question like... is, should we Aqua Jet the Magmordar or the Gyarados? I mean, Magmordar is the obvious answer, but like they could try to protect and wake up with Gyarados. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if they did have Thunderbolt on Magmortar. Yeah. So I think I'll Aqua Jet I Magmortar think... to be safe, because they would need I to wake up, and safer. we would still do a lot of damage with Bullet Seed. Yeah, onto the uh, Gyarados then. Yeah, I'm gonna Aqua Jet Magmortar. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I spoke a little bit too early, we haven't won yet, but... <laughs> like, it looked pretty bad a turn ago, now it looks a lot better. Oh, wow. Okay, so they just follow me. So they could burn us. Uh, let's... I, there's no way they're sad, right? No. <laughs> they could. No, 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 no. And... I yeah, they definitely didn't expect the Spore and the Belly Drum, I think. Yeah, yeah, maybe they forgot that we could put Gyarados to sleep because it's in the air. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot of damage. Yeah, two more hits and it'll take it down. They don't wake up. Oh, no. That's game then, probably. Yeah, I think that's, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely game. Assume you're just bullets the business die opposite Top of Coco. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's, um, focused on... <laughs> no, focused slash Top of Coco, they've taken some damage, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think because our Breloom was faster, we ended up being in a really good position anyway, but we didn't know that. Like, given the worst case situation, we easily could have lost where we were a few turns ago if, like, their Gyarados was faster and they actually made the call to double up on Breloom, but I am super glad we did not protect Breloom. <laughs> yes, yeah. Just because we're down to our last Pokemon on the Breloom side, protect is very, very obvious there. Yes. And so, like, we were like, okay, if we're faster, then that's so good for us, because even if Coco knocks out our Azumarill, they're slower, and we get the free switch in into our, uh, our, sorry, our, uh, Aerodactyl. And then Aerodactyl offensively, plus Breloom, is very good against all of their teams. So it's just a straightforward Aqua Jet into the Coco and Bully Seed again, I guess? Yes. And wow, that's, that's crazy. Should... That's crazy. Yeah. We should have this locked up, then. See if it was a speed tie here, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that was the one thing. I was like, if it's actually a speed tie, that'd be crazy, but it's not. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's Z-Move Gyarados, because they didn't have a Z-Move. Like... Yeah, maybe. I mean, Frostlass probably didn't have a Z-Move there. Unless it was Z-Move and Destiny, but I guess that could work. Um, 
Like and now we know the lander is a scarf too, yeah. so we do have easy target here. I mean, I guess if we aqua jet into the Landorus, that is a, a guaranteed knockout. Yes. And yeah, because they could double protect with the Coco. So I think we do aqua jet into the Landorus here and just spore into the Coco. Yep. What if I. I'm just saying, yeah, I don't want to protect Azuma. That's the one way we throw this. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario is we're losing one more Pokemon here. We'd be exactly. losing Azumarill, but yeah. they would definitely be losing their Landorus, and then um, Coco will have a guaranteed sleep turn next turn. You can just bring in uh, Nida Queen and Earth Power or Slug Bomb. Yep, I'm gonna Aqua Jet Landorus. Yep. Yeah, that Spore Belly draw on turn literally just won us the game when they switched out. Yeah, yeah, and I guess they switched there because they thought our oh, Brilliant had to protect. I think they probably thought we had to make a, a passive turn there. Yep. But I think, like, Baz and I considered all our options, and we're like, the only way this doesn't work out is if it is really fast Gyarados and a double up on Blade. Yes, yeah. And, like, you know, that combination, it certainly could happen. And so, I don't know, this was a really scary game, because they played really well, I think. Uh, their lead was better than our lead. We missed the Rock Slide, sure, but I think it's likely they were Focus Ash anyway. So we would've gotten the damage off, but they could've threatened us with Destiny Bomb the following turn anyway, which was a yeah, great tech yeah. by them, by the way. Yeah, and they, they did have lots of um, speed control too, with Icy Wind and Yeah, Tailing. like, that, that was the most clever thing. I remember, um, before the game just, or before Duncan didn't bring all his Pokemon, I was saying to Baz, like, because they didn't bring, or, like, maybe we should just consider Jirachi plus uh, Aerodactyl instead of the Raichu, just because Jirachi did have to follow me there, which I think would have been really good, but I think Baz and I still wanted to stick with our game plan more, um, but, yeah, that was, that, like, really credits to them, because they came out with a really good lead in game plan, I think. Yeah, I'm just interested why they went with physical type of Coco. Yeah, if they had, um, I think if they had both either, like, Scarf or Discharge, we would have been screwed completely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been over, but it would have been definitely not good for us. Yes. Interesting that they Scarfed the Landorus, too. Yeah, that, like, that uh, helped us more than it hurt us. Um, well, I guess it could be interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, like... We do end up with the win there, but that was a game that really easily could have gone the other way. Uh, I, I'm trying to think, like... Since their Gyarados was slower, uh, the play we ended up making there ends up working out, but I think the scary thing is because Azumarill was our best answer against the Magmordar, um, oh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, like, because the Azumarill was so good against Magmordar, like, if we lose Azumarill there, we get the Spore off against Gyarados, and then we probably switch in into Aerodactyl. Um, yeah. and then Aerodactyl, it probably knocks out Coco from that range, so I guess we could have just Rock Slide and Bullet Seeded. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Aerodactyl was still very good against their team. Um, in a way, we did have to spore the Gyarados just because if it did get a Dragon Dance up, it would have outsped and one shot uh, Aerodactyl. It and, would one shot uh, everything, yeah. Aerodactyl, yeah, the, yeah. Um, the, the Needle Queen we had in the back as well, which is why I was like, I think we really need to spore this turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think um, really crazy game, and this one was scary just because I think they came in with better. Like, they were. Normally, we try to command our opponents and, like, put in the pressure, but. They were one step ahead of us with that turn one, and so we were reacting to them as opposed to them reacting to us. And then since we didn't know their items, there were situations, like I mentioned, if they did have the Discharge, I like I thought Discharge made so much sense on their team next to Lander specifically, just yes. because you target the Azumarill, you get that damage off. Um, but they ended up having Wild Charge, which helped us more than it hurt us, and they were taking chip damage as well. Um, so as a result, I think, like, because of the way the sets worked out, we still would have been, we wouldn't, we, it wasn't like an auto loss at any point. And we, like, that turn where they switched out Magmortar, like, we still could have easily been in the game. Um, but it, it would have been a lot scarier, definitely, had they just uh, wild charged the Azumarill. But, like I say, I think we just bring an Aerodactyl, we Rock Slide, Bullet Seed, and then with a Scarf Landorus, you can only lock yourself into one thing. And none of that, like, you can't do Earth Power, because then you can't touch the Landorus, so it has to be something else. But then you need to put in the back, then can deal with it. Yeah, so, I mean, as... As tradition now, I guess, the thing that we were most fearing didn't even come to team preview, so, yeah. you know, the game would have been a lot different if, if they did bring the Holucha. Yes, but, like, they actually came up with something else that we didn't even consider that I think was really clever. Yeah. Like, we didn't think about yeah. Icy Wind process at all. Yeah, yeah, and that did work out for them. Yes. Yeah. Which is kind of funny, because it's like, oh, then we actually could have, like, maybe Electro Web and Rock Slide turn one. Oh, true, actually, yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. I don't know, like, I, I still like the fake-out rock side play that we made, although, like, even though we missed, I don't think that missed mattered too much, unless we flinched them, just because, um, yeah, yeah. they came in so well-prepped with the Charty Barry. I'm gonna guess they had Sash on Fast last year, that would only make sense. 
Yeah. Curious what item they had on the tub of cocoa too, actually. Yes, I'm very curious it about that. It didn't show life orb or anything. It could have been like Zed uh, mirror move or something. Yeah, that would make sense. I, I I just was really surprised to see physical. Like I'm still trying to figure that one out. Yeah. Yeah. But in the end, we take those 3-0 win. We're still first in the league going into the last week. Um, next week's going to be one of the harder games against Team Drinking Birds, who is also very high up. But, I mean, obviously, Baz and I are happy. We're 8-2 now. We're on a six-week win streak, I think. And uh, credit's to Team Wee, Wee Disney, because I think they definitely put in a very good fight. And, you know, that one turn obviously completely swayed things around. But, uh, you know, we, we were playing from behind for the first couple of turns, and we had to make a big play or two. Yeah, I think they'll be surprised that we did just belly drum in front of a tap of cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it honestly makes sense, I think. We came did, with the yeah. safest play possible yeah. there. Yeah. But um, obviously, oh, like, it's yeah. not always the safest play when you don't know the speed stats of your opponent's team, but I think we, we're in a position where we're like, okay, chances are this favors less more. Yeah, I mean, if it had gone down, we would have had Aerodactyl to, to come in nicely. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah. So, like, what we were thinking was, okay, even if they double up on the... Um, on the, on the, on the, what am I trying to say? They double up onto the Breloom, really? then yeah. we get the Belly Drum off, and then now it really comes down to what Gyarados has. If it doesn't have, like, Z-Flying, then, you know, at most they're just waterfalling us, because we can just keep Aqua Jetting the Tapu Koko side. Yes. So yeah. I think what they would need to do is maybe be in a position where they have Magmordar and Landorus out at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I I'm thinking too far into it right now, but yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think, obviously, like, that turn you guys may be like, oh, that's so dumb of them. Like, why would they uh, switch out? They just gave us the game. Uh, but I think if you're looking from their perspective, like, us staying in with Azumarill seems like a really, really risky call. Um, but fortunately, we just went for what we thought was the safest play and covered all our options, and it ended up working out. Yes. Um... So you are, you are, um, your microphone's cutting up a little bit now, so I suppose oh, okay. you might as well end it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. But, uh, we're gonna end yeah, it here so, anyway, but, uh... Yeah, uh, apologies for my, uh, my voice. I am extremely ill at the moment, but, uh, let's look forward to next week. Last round of, um, of the NBL against, yes. uh, uh, Drinking Birds. So the team builder will be here on Cybertron's channel, and the battle will be on my channel next week. So do come and join us. Yep. So everyone go tell, go give Baswell wishes. I hope he feels better. Uh, he put in, once again, he is the mastermind behind so much of just, you know, the spreads especially. Um, and so thanks to Baz. Uh, really credits to Wii Disney because I thought they played very well. They came up with a really good game plan. And like, once again, we were caught off guard and it was super scary. Like, that was a game where I didn't feel comfortable really at any point until that big turn. Um, and yeah. Um, obviously, we're happy. We're still first in the league, but uh, next week is really, you know, still want to win. And Maz and I are not happy finishing second last season, so we want to go <laughs> this season. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go check out the Team Builder. Go check out Baz's channel, Shoku and Duncan. All link in the description below. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the battle, and we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, goodbye for now.